Hello, my name is Jessica Harrison Hall and I'm head of China at the British Museum and I'm going to talk to you about the Sir Joseph Ho Tung Centre for Ceramic Studies and the Sir Percival David Collection of Chinese Ceramics in Room 95. This is an extraordinary collection of 1,700 Chinese porcelains and stonewares dating from the 3rd century AD right through to the 19th century. Sir Percival David was an extraordinary man. He learnt Chinese to translate 14th century texts and his texts we still use today. He was part of the Sassoon Banking Dynasty and he travelled through his work to China, to Hong Kong and Japan where he collected many of the materials. The collection really divides into three parts. You have the most beautiful Song Dynasty ceramics, and these are characterised by single-coloured glazes, blue-grey green glazes, the most beautiful white wares, olive green wares, and so on. And the second part is really the imperial wares of the early 15th century. This is the time when the Forbidden City was built, and the emperors sent ships from Nanjing all the way to the east coast of Africa in order to spread word of their power. And we have ceramics which were ordered for the court at that time. And the third part are Qing imperial wares, the Qing rule between 1644 and 1911, the China's last dynasty, and some of the most delicate and finely painted wares are located in that section including pieces which were actually decorated within the Forbidden City itself. In terms of highlights of the collection, we really must look at the Rue wares, which are situated right at the beginning of the gallery. And these were made for a period of only 20 years. And yet the court who consumed them, who used them, continued to try to recreate them after they were booted out of their capital city and fled to the south of China. And for years, people have tried to recreate these glazes, and it's simply impossible. They were made 20 years after the Norman Conquest in 1086, and they are simply the most beautiful ceramics ever made. They have a, a unique colour, it's neither blue nor grey nor green. In China, it's described as Qing, which is literally the colour of nature. And that can be any shade from beige through those pigments we've just described all the way to black. There are less than 100 in the entire world. And in this collection, there are 12. So it's a remarkable holding of these Rue wares.